Oh, the place. Oh. Our drafter got outplayed. He banned Bristol back. Opponent picked on dying. All right, I'm back. <laughs> oh, we lost. Sexy boy, thirteen. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> A mutual agreement amongst the team that we have lost. Oh, it's fine. Clock counter sniper. Got exactly. Yeah, like they actually lost. If they win this game. They went into our trap. What the <laughs> fuck was that? It was Dondo. To restart. I'm retarding you. AK bro. <laughs> yes, at least I can look at his monitor. So it's nice. Sound muted. Okay, boys. So that was what's going on in the radiant chat. Let's head over to the dire side. Sound uh, resume. Channel switch. Uh, one brood, man. <laughs> what was the mistake? Yeah, fucking losers from radiant. Easy game. You have Pablo. <laughs> We have Don though. It's easy. User nah, we have, we have Pablo. We have Pablo. Yeah, look, losers on Radiant team. <laughs> Fucking easy game. Sound. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that was the dire chat. Now let's head back over to the Radiant. Channel switch. Sound I mean, no, we were both be bottom three after this game, weren't we? <laughs> no oh, shit. Arthur go this. No. Oh. Goddamn yeah. guys, come on. We gotta win this game for you, buddy. Let's do it, guys. Come on. I, mean, I don't give a fuck about this league. <laughs> <laughs> better be there with your bros. Yep, <sighs> I mean, they can't break our base. We just have to pick the best late game here in the game right now. I mean. Side we're awful. Oh my god. I think we won. <laughs> Kuro's theory crafting again. Look at this guy. Fucking oh, whoops. <laughs> we won. Easy. Okay, now oh, I feel yeah, much better about Let's go needed. listen to the dyer's reaction to that PA pick. Channel switch. Sound resumed. Ah, oh, the Senpai Chen oh, coming up. Gonna stack some creeps. Steven? Stack some camps? Sound muted. Okay, boys. So that was Channel what we're switch. hearing at the moment from the two teams in the pre-game chat before going into this. We've got the side of the radiant. Let's see who is on who as we get ourselves into the game. We're just waiting for the final uh, champion. Uh, the champions. <laughs> Final players is the word I'm looking for to pick up the heroes. Uh, the playlist is updated. That is the correct playlist on the side. So, right. Okay, let's uh, start recording. Let me move this screen over to the side and uh, put that there. Ooh, all right. We, we League of Legends now, boys. <laughs> no, we're not. Fuck off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. We have got Face It Pro League. This is, I believe, the uh, third game of the fourth game today that I will be casting between the Radiant and the Dyer over on the side of the Radiant. We're going to have RTZ PA. We're going to have Funic on the Clockwork, S4 on the Queen of Pain. Oh, my goodness, it's so fucking good. EGM is going to be on the Alchemist. It's going to be 1437 on his channel. Over on the side of the Dyer, it's Silence so we play Kai Kuroki. Dandy is going to be on the Lena Art Style on the Sniper. Undying will be Pablo and Hanski. Will be handling the Earth Shaker. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Odie Pixel. I've clicked start record and we're ready for this game, which will indeed go down in history. When we have quality options, when I get partnership, Twitch, they don't like me. Well, maybe they'd. Whoa, the lag there, net worth. Not what we want to be looking at at the moment. And indeed, Bob Chen is called by Dandy as the game begins. Carl here on this quad leading the charge. Pablo on the offlane. 
What's with the what faces chat? <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Now, who would your rares be on, boys? I want to know. Radiant or Dire? Come on, let's give it just a nice, easy shout out in the chat. Radiant or Dire? It's a hard one. I really feel it is. I mean, I don't know. We're going to have to see. The game is about to kick off. We'll see what kind of lanes uh, the two teams do settle up on top lane. Clockwork there. Funny clock with the cogs. Able to buy himself some space. And uh, PA will grab the uh, bouncy room. And that, of course, is the RTZ, the one and only PA. A lot of people are saying Radiant. A lot of people are saying Dice. Uh, yeah, I think we are pretty much split 50-50 this game. We are split 50-50 indeed. And, uh, well, as I said, we're just going to have to wait and see the game and get underway between this uh, absolute clash of the Titans here on uh, Dota 2 here today. So, Penny the Dreadful, Fennec on this offline clock, dealing with, it's going to be, of course, S, uh, sorry, Kuroki on the support silencer, Art Style on the sniper. Fennec, going in aggressively, will get harassed back here. So you've got Art Style and Kuroki on the top lane. Dendi on the mid lane, Lena, dealing up against Arteezy on his signature PA, and over in the Radiant Jungle. We've got 1437 Chen, Alchemist, EGM, cooking up a brew, passes it over to Hanskin, who is on the Earthshaker, Pablo on the undying in the uh, farming role on this offlane dueling and Carl in the uh, position of one quap so s4 on that quap oh yes this is a poor alchemist boots first we'll see how much they're able to make happen with it it's an interesting draft indeed top lane clockwork is he trapped in with you or you trapped in with him looking for the headshots here art style and there uh, we see Kuroki trying to get off a little bit of a bright clicks as well in the mid lane, CS wise, how's it going? Lena four for three, RTZ three for one. So slightly to here for the Dondo, but you would expect that on this Lena top lane. Funnick needs to be careful. Still got himself four tangos. No salves at the moment. PA getting forced back behind the tower. Denti getting aggressive, closing in on the money for his bottle as well. Did pick up that null tally first and con fucking gratis, says the lad from secret top lane sniper getting pretty much an interrupted farm here clockwork hasn't been able to do a lot to hinder his progress bottom lane s4 carl on the clock a little bit of a, a different story uh, shaker and undying their present as presence certainly made it a little bit harder for this quad to farm he's a fair few cs behind the position one here art style on the side of the radiant well carl going deep has got that blink of course though they've got a fish here It'll be on the wrong side anyway. We'll be able to blink out. Maybe thinking about turning this one around with the dagger. Has the scream of pain. It's only 85 damage. It won't be enough anyway if he blinked in aggressively. He doesn't want to. Doesn't want to risk giving the kill here to this uh, dual lane offlane. And uh, there's John Key PMNZ with the facts and the statistics. RTZ in 6.83 has a 100% win rate with PA. Averaging 11 kills a game and almost 650 GP. Guys, can you see me? Guys, we're back. Guys, are you there? Twitch. Is it working now? P press F to pay respects to a working stream if it's working. Is the stream working? Are we fine? Are we back? Are we fine? Are we fine? Can people tell me? Are we fine? Are we working? Are we working? Are we fine? Are we fine? Are we working? Press F to pay respects to the working stream. Can we have a have thumbs up? Is it working? Guys, you can't hear me. Okay, uh, let me know if you can't hear me. Art style, he's dead. Anyway, so yes, you can hear me. Right, you can see me, but you can't hear me. What? You can't see me? Chat, you're talking a load of bullshit. Right, anyway, back to... Oh, for fuck. Guys, can you hear me in the moment? <laughs> you said it's fine now, but it's not working. <laughs> you can hear me. Oh, is it working? Oh, for fuck. Let's reconnect. All right. Mic muted. You see me? Is he retarded? Yes, I am actually. 
That's not a joke about it. Right, back into the game. Right, okay. Okay, right, it's all over. We're good to go. Right, top lane. Anyway, Senpai, 1437, a funny on the clock there, pushing into this tier one. Apologies for the uh, 13 kills we've missed so far. Seven minutes into the game. Mid lane, EGM going in with the concoction. Blink four from RTs. They're looking for the lean. The stun is there. Is the to say arm from the silence coming in time? It's not going to. RTs is silenced up, but he goes straight in. And with the help of Carl, they will find themselves another kill. Pablo's rotated in, pops down the tombstone. Right clicks and the tower and damage coming down on RTs, but RTs, he wants to keep fighting. EGM charging up the concoction. Stick charges. Are they going to be enough for PA? Oh, with the evasion, no, he does go down at the end of the day. Will die to the Undying with the Decay, but Carl on the S4 has found himself a double kill. And it's 11 to 6 now, looking pretty good for the Radiant. They're going to be able to find the Tier 1 here on the top lane as well. If we look at the individual uh, net worth now as well at this point, 3.5k on S4 on the Quap, 3k on RTZ on this PA. He's working towards those treads, S4. With, uh, what's he got coming out to him? What's he deciding to opt for first? He's just working on the treads himself. So, going to be able to offer a, a fair bit of right click damage. And, uh, right. Okay. So, apologies for the internet issues. Fingers crossed, we're good now. It looks like the stream is pretty stable. We can get ourselves on with the game. Welcome if you have just joined the stream. So we have got on the side of the Radiant RTZPA, Funic Clockwork, S4 on the Queen of Pain. EGM will be on that support alchemist and it's 1437 on the Chen. Over on the side of the Dyer, you've got Kuroki on the support silencer. You've got Denzi on the mid lane Alina. Art Style is playing the position one sniper. Pablo is, of course, on the Undying. So he leaves you with Hansken on the Earthshaker. Right, we're back into the game. Let's try and get the flow back. Apologies again. This is the Face It Pro League you are watching again. So, Treads are now completed on our tour. Oh, so he's got himself the Face Boots and the Aquila. Smoke up now from S4 and EGM. They're ready to go, ready to pop. Alchemist has got three points in that concoction. Trap not coming out onto the mid lane, raining down onto Clockwork. And, uh, well, here we go into the jungle, charging up. Oh, my goodness. He walks straight into that one. The punch is there. Blow up the hands, Ken Urshay. Dominating streak now for the uh, S, uh, sorry for Carl, yeah, S4 on this quad. Looking very, very good indeed. S4 certainly seems to have been making the plays this game. Four kills, and he died the once, two assists as well. Now around the dire jungle. Clockwork, Funic, level seven, has the hookshot available. Alchemist as well, ready to follow up with the concoction. And so they're going to start putting the push on with Carl. With 1437 on the champ. Out comes the tombstone. Thanks to the chain creeps, there's a lot of zombies being summoned. Going in headfirst with a decay. Hey, I'll wake pop up. down the acid spray. And still on the high ground. Funic looking to initiate from the sidelines with the hook shot. If the opportunity does arise. I'm apparently muted in total. To TV. I am not muted in Dota TV because it's working, but it's basically my key. There's a glitch if your internet craps out. Like, it just it doesn't let you use your mic in game sometimes, so I don't think there's anything I can do about that. In lane. Dendi with the Invis Rune. Maybe looking to try and start an initiation here. And he's going to find EGM. EGM charging up the concoction. Can Dendi do anything to stop it from being thrown? No, we'll get thrown straight away. Assassinate onto EGM. Dendi wants to try and go for this. There's your fire dragon slave into the Laguna Blade. And the right clicks as well. We'll find the kill. Blinking from S4. He's going to get caught up by the light strike array. Lina trying to fire up against it. The Fisher catches Carl on the tip. He hasn't got a blink for six seconds. The fire dragon slave. He has got the haste ring still under the effect of himself. And he will be able to get out with the ball charges. Only the Alchemist going down there. Hook shot, though, from Funic. He wants to fight with the Blade Mail. Straight onto Pablo. Arstar trying to turn it around, but he's shooting at this Clockwork with the Blade Mail. He's taking a little bit of damage as well. They do manage to find the kill on Undying with S4 with the ultimate. But the Assassinate will be there to find the kill and return onto the Clockwork. 13 to 8 so far. Concoction charged up onto the Sniper with the right clicks on top of the Acid Spray, reducing the armor. Arstar on the Sniper. Hasn't got a lot of hope trying to get himself out of that, and he won't indeed. 14 to 8. Oh, it's easy. 950 gold now on top of the treads. S4. 1400. 4.7k net worth. They're both up there. S4 and Arteezy. Holding hands and pushing themselves down the mid lane. EGM is there in the sidelines. Level 6 now. Has got the chemical rage. So in these fights, he's going to be able to deal a little bit more and be a lot more of an issue for the side of the dire. There we go. Tier 1 down. No reaction to that from the die. They're kind of hanging back at the moment. 
Where's your Lena? Where's your Dendi? Dendi teeping straight out to the tier one. The push coming in from the Chen army and Clockwork. Funnick has got the hook shot back off cooldown. Looking to initiate Dendi. So hasn't got the yours yet. Rocket Flare will scout them out. So the Radiant know exactly where the Dyer are coming in from. And EGM and RTC keeping themselves to their cells in the mid lane. And 12 minutes. And if we have a look at the team's uh, difference in terms of XP, we're coming up to 7.5k favoring the Radiant. And 7.5k uh, in terms of gold. Now, in the Radiant jungle, all five members of the side of the Dyer. Rotating down, it's just the Chen, 1437 on his own here. Arcane Boots and Mech Complete. Not bad at all for 12 and a half minutes in. And then push. Coming out, they should be able to get the Tier 1 here, but the, well, the side of the Radiant, they've got bigger fish to fry. They're looking straight for the Tier 2 here in the mid lane. And uh, indeed, it looks like they'll lose the Tier 1, but they will be able to do a significant bit of damage here to the Tier 2. Now, what's the plan here for the Dyer? Are they going to try and look for a cheeky wrap round? They do have a smoke on Earthshaker. And that may be exactly what they want to do. They're waiting for Sniper and Lena to get themselves into the jungle before popping it. There aren't any Radiant Wards here. So if they did want to do it, it would be undiscovered. Radiant themselves, they've got the full five man looking to rotate towards this top tier two. And still, the Dyer side, they're not falling back for this. And just continuing to go for it. And here we go, straight onto the tier two. And this time, this tier 2 will be going down as Chen joins the push. Rocket Flare heads over to Roshan. Roshan is up. And it's not where the Dyer are at, at the moment. The Dyer, where are you at? They're just chilling in the Radiant Jungle. Secret. Kuroki is in the mid lane. Art style by his side. Now, here comes the rotation from the Radiant. They're looking to try and wrap around. Hookshot from Furnix straight in. Global Silence gets popped immediately in reaction. But Furnix trying to give Artstyle the rundown with the Battery Assault. Now the control is there. Laguna Blade from Denny from the low ground blows up the clockwork. EGM will find the concoction onto Kuroki. There's the final hit coming in from the, uh, so the Phantom Assassin, indeed. And now the fight may continue to the Roshan pit. Dendi's in there. Light Strike around to L uh, EGM. Has got the Laguna Blade available. Now, Concoction being charged up. Maybe thinking if he can turn this. We'll be able to stun Pablo. PA wants to man fight up, and the crits are certainly seeming to be there. Doesn't want to commit, though. He knows Lena. Dendi's in the neighborhood, and Dendi might be able to find the kill here. Is it going to miss the Light Strike array? Artor! Babor coming back down from the high ground. Finds himself a kill. EGM looking for the Jukes. Artor, do you want more? Yes, he does. Going up to the high ground now with the Kokoshi getting thrown out. Alchemist with his dying breath saying, Artor, you must go on and you must live. And there he goes. He lives. He finds a kill onto Dendi. He's not done yet. He wants to find Hansken as well. Hansken, he tries to TP out. TP away from the TK. The triple kill from Artor. Babor, S4 as well on the top lane. Finds a kill. And now he might find a second one. And Kuroki, oh my goodness. They may both play for secret, but they're not both playing today as friends. They are. Oh, it's on. Artor, he wants more going in. Tombstone gets thrown down by Pablo, but Artor, he does not care. Echo Slam, maybe he should care. Maybe now is the time to retreat. He's going to back up. He's going he's to go back in. Go on. Is he going to go for Pablo? No. He's had enough. Artor knows when to stop. Or does he? Phantom is striking four seconds. Carl, he's got the dagger. No. They're going to play it safe. Ted the zombie. Gives it his all. It's not going to be enough. And Well, they've got a Fisher. No, they haven't. They haven't got a Fisher. And maybe Arteezy realizes that. He does. He knows he's safe to blink about. The K and the Soul Rip bringing him low. Oh, Carl's come back in. There's Funnick with the tag team. Boom. Pablo, the big bad zombie. Gets taken down. Now Artor. He really wants more. <laughs> we got... Oh, it's easy. What a guy. Should we, should we head into the team speak? Let's head into the team speak of the team of the Radiant Boys. Let's see what they're saying. Channel switched. Sound resumed. We can rush, I guess. Oh, yeah. I am dead. You have a hand of battery? Nice. Wait, 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 you're fine, you're fine. Sick, mates. Go, go, more, go, more. That's the I'm EGM watching. right there. Oh, I need to see you. TP. Oh, no, There's an Invis from bottom. <laughs> Invis from bottom. Yeah, Arch fair? I'll just. No, I'll just. Nah, I'll jam, honestly. Let's go. Wanna smoke? Yeah, let's go. 
Bear mouse pad? Yeah. No, I don't need one. I th and I don't have one. I mean, I don't I need one. I don't have one. Um. Stay here. Wait for Dandy. Sure. Yeah, I got endless. Pad. I think a Steel Series Dota 2 one. Fuck! Did I just? Oh. What's happening? I go. No, I try. <laughs> what? <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a sniper. There is coming here. Can we one shot this guy? Go for this guy. Oh, I'm getting. Or getting. Oh, silence. He's orchid. Oh silence. my, crit him please, crit him, crit him. Alright, help me, help me, help me. Fucking Pablo. Sure. The I got here, I got here, I got here. Fuck Pablo. Um, right, S4 is dead for sure. Don't delude Dude, yourself, you're actually fucking dead. Death. <laughs> Thumbus. This is just amazing, medallion usage. I am here, I am here. He's stuck, you got him cornered. Get the sniper. <laughs> oh, Dixon, no! Oh. Oh. He had stick. Why did he let me die? He had stick. Yeah, but that was my- Sound muted. There we go, that's, that's what's going switch. on there on the Radiant chat. My goodness. 29 to 12. It's looking very nice for the Radiant side. <laughs> Fuck Pablo. <laughs> now, 18 minutes. We're only 18 minutes in, boys. It's it's pretty crazy. 16k. 16k. 1437 on the gem. Size to even it out a little bit. So, S4. There's going to be a TP in. Is that. Oh, it's the clock. Furnick. Furnick. That's uh, 101 in how not to use boots to travel. And PAR tour now with the Vlads. With the Vlads. Now straight for the push down the middle end. Tier 2. Pulling very, very quickly. Bottom lane, Carl. Coming in with the wraparound. Straight in onto Denzi. Orchid it up. He's going to TP away and he will make it. The burst damage isn't there from S4 at this point. Alchemist. Support EGM. I mean, you heard it from Artsor. He was absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving the EGM Alcan. Absolutely rightfully so. Doing a lot this game, heading into the pit. Acid Spray will come down. It's even easier here for Artor and Carl to take this one. And there's no contest from the die. They've already lost the top racks. And they're just not in a position to come out of their base at this point. Okay, he just now picked up by Artor. You guys want to hear the die team chat? Let's go over to the die team chat and see what they're saying in this very crucial moment of the game in regards to their defense. Sound resumed. Channel switched. It's kind of ward. What the heck? Funny. Funny. Uh, nice. Oh shit. Bop. 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 He has a ward here. Ward. One of the sentry. Sound muted. Channel switch. As you can see there, the dire. Very focused at the moment. They may have silence around the team, but it seems like the ultimate affects them as well. But now it's a nice pick off that they get EGM, playing a little bit too aggressively and close to the base, trying to get that ward in. Taking down straight away. And does pay with his life. So it's still 20 minutes in. We've seen 44 kills, boys and girls. But uh, yeah, tension's obviously rather high on the dire side. Playing it cool at the moment. And just, uh, I mean, if they continue to do that, kind of just, you know, <laughs> fight from the high ground. Keep it cool. And on that note, let's hear what the words of the Radiant have in uh, in plans to continue the game. Channel Swiss sound resume. This, they're here. They're here. Dead? Huh? I, no, maybe a shaker smoke. I'm running. Oh. Uh, they weren't it's pretty close to so. Agonist. So. I'm, I'm ready. Still. So. Fuck. On my yeah, way. Sorry. Ready yeah, I'm just farming 16. Ah, uh, no. I don't know, Rich. We can kill a sniper if you get down. Wait till I get 16, yeah. and then we'll All just right. go. Yeah, we can wait. Hand of God is done. I'm gonna battle the clock. Even what are you gonna get? I think we should just Axe. fucking end the game or some shit. Oh, yeah, that yeah, works. Now. Just waiting some for you. I can go fight whenever, it doesn't matter. Oh well. 
wanna kill him. I will do ancient skill. I can try stack here. <laughs> uh, time to farm. What are you buying? This... Oh, Scotty. Finishing my BKB. Sound muted. Okay, boys, so that's what's going on on the side at the Radiant as they prepare themselves for this next push and this next fight. And both obviously playing passively as we see there's uh, some key item picks up so that they were just waiting on. They're allowing Artur the space and time to work towards his Scardi. He's got the point booster and the first ultimate orb. BKB now picked up by Car S4 on this squad. You're going to see a smoke up now from the side of the Dyer. And let's see what what they're actually... Well, actually, no, we've got a fight going on. Let's see EGM die first. Tombstone's dropped down. He does manage to pop up the chemical range, but that... That is an alchemist getting blown up. And well, let's see what the Dyer had to say about that one. Sound resumed. Channel switched. Fine, uh, go. You ready? Da. Da. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Come back. I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm not critting you at all, by the way, Kuro. Gonna be silence. He's ages. Heal so him. Heal him. Don't waste so much time. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Okay. Please. <clears throat> Sound muted. Okay, oh, that's what's going on on the dire there now with the radiant push, ready to go to the high ground. And uh, here we go. Tier three taking damage. Art style assassinating. Well, how easy or at least trying to. Fisher as well. He's getting fairly low. Artor, Artor. He's got the Aegis though. Intentional. And now back onto the tier three. Art style popping down the shrapnel. Fortification will come out here from the dire. They don't, of course, have the global silence here for the defense, but they will be able to buy the time to allow Pablo and Dendi to get themselves back into the game. Yeah, and you can uh, well, you can hear Artizi in the chat, of course, because uh, he will be in the same training room as Kuroki. So Kuroki's mic there in the die chat, picking up Artzor, which is also, uh, I think, believe is uh, the same, of course, for uh, Funic and uh, for Dendi. Um, we did hear Dendi passing by the Funic chat and... Uh, Shouting expletives. Oh, here we go for now. Let's see. Dyer, ready to go. Double damage on Artur. He's had a couple of these recently. It's been a little bit disgusting. Well, blink forward from Carl. That's going to be the dagger crit. And PA just playing it safe. But it's Artur. He doesn't really do safe. And let's have a listen to the dial, what exactly they're waiting for before they look for this final fight. Sound resumed. I want to take this again. Pick up me. Look, they want to go. They might have a shot. He just placed it. Can't kill it. Got hooked. Sound oh, and here we go. So there's the hook shot in. They were waiting for the initiation from Funic and they go straight in. They've already found three. Now they're going to look to clear out. On to Pablo here. Artur with the crits. Dendi goes down as well. And it looks like after that, just a little bit of a wait just for that. You know, we've heard them discussing it. They were very aware of what was up and what was available for the Dyer. They look for the opening and they find it. Perfect timing and perfect, perfect finish there for the Radiant. What a game. For the Radiant, and let's go see. Let's go listen to what they're saying at the end of that match. The Radiant side. Sound resumed. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you Nintendo. doing? Nintendo. It was easy game. <laughs>